Hello, and welcome back to the Ready to Answer Bible series, and we've come to the last lesson of this volume on language and passage ties. Let's look at a few more passages that are often misunderstood simply because, you know, sometimes we just don't read the language properly. Right. Well, one of them that I think of is in, in Matthew, but um, what's the first sign that Jesus gives of the end times? It's a really good one, actually. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 5, Christ says, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And, and this is the passage when Jesus goes into all of those other things, the wars, the rumors mm -hmm. of wars, yep. famines, earthquakes, all of these things. But before any of those comes this sign where he said, many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And a lot of times people say, well, that's, that's like Jim Jones. And, you know, he said he was Christ. No, that's not what this is saying. Yeah. First of all, when we read it, he says, this is Jesus speaking. He yeah. says, for many shall come in my name. Whose name? Mm -hmm. They're coming in the name of Jesus. Yep. That's Jesus speaking. He's saying it's my name. They're coming in my name mm. saying, I am Christ. Yes. Well, who are they saying? Well, the people, well, it's like David Koresh saying he was Christ. No, that's not what he is saying. He says they're coming in my name, in the name of Jesus. Yes. And they're telling people that I am Christ. But that's a true statement. Yeah. He yeah, is, is Christ. Yeah. And yet they're still able to deceive yes. many. This is the first sign that Jesus gives of the end times, that there will be false teachers mm -hmm. claiming to come in the name of Jesus, claiming that Jesus is Christ. Yes. And yet they're still able to deceive many. It's powerful. So this is, this is just basically reading the language as it yeah. sits there, if you will. Yes. That's something that we have to see. Yeah. And... Um, Next, I really want us to look at um, a subject I think has deceived a lot of people yeah. in, in this generation and uh, ask the question, do miracle workers yeah. and, and, and prophets, oh. do they still exist? Oh, boy. Is speaking in tongues still yeah. for today? Yeah. Let's look at the language that yes. God uses in the Bible and see what God tells us about that. I'm going to ask, Andy, if you would read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 8 to 12. Let's take a look at this. Yes. It says in verse 8, Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. So the important part here, Brother Chris, verse 9, it says, For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, that which is in part shall be done away. So those things in part, they are prophecies. They are speaking in tongues. Right. And verse 8 tells us that was going to cease. Yes, and so they, they will shall. cease. It's in the future. Yes. From the time that Paul is writing this, in the future, at yep. some point, they were going to end. And the disagreement is when that is. Right. Is it 2020? Is it in the future? But the truth is that it has passed because... That which is perfect is come. There's really only two thoughts there. There only can be two things that yeah, are perfect. Actually, right. Let, let's think about when Paul is writing this. The only two things yep. that are to come that are perfect yes. would be the return of the Lord Jesus right. yep. and the completion of the word of God. Yep. Thy word is what? It's perfect. Yes. Those two things were coming one, one person, one a thing. Because it hasn't happened yet here. It hasn't happened yet. They haven't yet. had the complete word they of God. They knew in part yes. they the Old Testament. Yes. They did not yet have a New Testament. No. So they're going to end. They're going to cease. They're mm -hmm. going to be done away when that which is perfect has come. Well, let's look again at those last couple of verses yeah. and see which one makes more sense. He says, we now we see through a glass darkly, but yeah. then face to face. What does the Bible tell us about itself? It tells us that it's the it's a mirror. mirror. It's a mirror. We see face to face. Now I know in part. 
What part did he know? Yeah. He knew the Old Testament. Yep. Didn't have the New Testament yet. Yeah. He says, but then, when? When that which is perfect is come, then shall I know even as also I am known. So that which was perfect that was coming is the completion of the word of God. Yes. And for such a long time of history, all of these things, you don't see them again until they're really resurrected no. <laughs> yeah, in the no. 19th century by false prophets. Yeah, yeah. So God is telling us that these, these things that were temporary, mm-hmm. things that were being done to establish the church age, yes. are going to be done away because something's coming that's perfect. Yes. And I'm glad the Word of God is perfect. Yeah. Amen to that. And it has come. Well, thankful that. This concludes our, our volume uh, yes. on, on language and, and passage ties, and we have one more volume to go. Yes, and in do. our next volume, which I think is a set of four lessons again, yeah. we're going to look at why, why people just won't believe God at his word. We're also going to co- cover some subjects that are going to be uh, <laughs> possibly controversial, but I, I hope not. <laughs> nah. We're going to cover... Uh, not if the, you take God as his word. No. We're going to cover the topics of inspiration, yep. preservation, mm-hmm. and translation. Hope to see you back soon. We'll see you soon, and God bless. Bye-bye.